what's up uh, so today I kind of wanted to talk about um, a little bit about negativity and negative thoughts negative beliefs and how to try to overcome them or change them or something along those lines now this topic is a little sensitive to me um, only because I have dealt with negative thinking my whole entire life I mean who hasn't we all go through the same thing where we're constantly being negative, we're, we're doubting ourselves, we're putting ourselves into fear thinking, just basically putting yourself at a low vibration mood. We've done it so often our whole entire life that we don't even recognize that we're doing it anymore. So one thing that actually interests me the most is um, I read up on this guy, Bruce Lipton. He's got a couple books out and um, he once talked about stem cells. Now, basically his experiment with this was that we are not our own genes. So whatever you have come from, your past history with your family, down the road, you are not that, you will not become that. You will only become that if you make that your mindset if you put yourself into that environment then you're going to create that and manifest that for yourself so he did this experiment with stem cells and um basically he did this 40 some years ago where you know there was only a collect few of people that even knew what a stem cell was and he took this stem cell and he produced it so um there's like 50 other stem cells from the same parent and what he did was have three separate boxes for this and put them in three separate environments. Well, they all ended up creating different mindsets, environments. So if you look at one and you, and you look at all of these stem cells in this one box, you say, well, they're all like that because they all came from the same gene. Well, so did this box and so did this box. So basically what we do is we, we take our environment and we create who we are by what we're seeing and what we're living in. You know, it's crazy because this is something that's scientific. This is something that was tested. It's not just someone just crazily saying, we're not our own genes because I said so. No, like here's proof that we don't have to be what we originally came from, who who we came from doesn't have to involve our life. Typically when you get sick or if something happens, um, you go to the doctors. The doctors typically tell you that you have this wrong or this wrong. So you're taking what their belief is, putting into your head and then, then therefore you are believing that and then you become that. Same thing with cancer. If you have a history um, of cancer in your family, if you're constantly thinking that you're gonna get that cancer because it's in your family and everyone else did, then you are manifesting that into your mind and then into your, your brain and then into your body. You know, this kind of goes into that placebo effect where, you know, if, if you were sick and someone gave you medicine but really it was a sugar pill, you're gonna be cured. Why? Because you, physically thought that this thing was curing you and you were at your curing yourself and as crazy as that is but we heal ourselves and we don't even realize that we can do it but we also don't realize that there is a nocebo effect nocebo effect does the same exact thing if you're going to constantly think something negative or something that that is bad that's going to happen to you it's going to happen because then you're putting yourself into that vibrational, low vibrational energy where you are bringing all of that into your life and then it's, you're just creating it and you're manifesting into your life. So what happens when you actually, you know, start your day off by stubbing your toe? Then you realize that something else bad happens and something else bad happens then something else bad happens because once something bad happens to you, you kind of put yourself back into this you know, kind of pissed off mood or when you're just not feeling right and then and then it kind of manifests the next bad thing to happen and then you get even more into that low vibrational state and then something else happens to you and then it just, it's like a continuous snowball and we need to figure out a way 
to get ourselves out of that right away. You have to think of something happy, something positive. Like even if that happened, like just laugh about it. something to get you out of that low state. One of the best medicines I think is smiling and laughing. It will get you out of anything, I swear. If I'm in a bad mood or, you know, if I'm upset about something, I try to smile. And it doesn't matter if you feel like an idiot at that time. If you smile, you just feel so much lighter, like like something was just taken off your shoulders. And then you just kind of start building yourself back up from there. You have to start at least somewhere to get to the next step. If you keep putting yourself into that, that mindset that, oh, this day is just going to be bad or, oh, this is going to happen next or this. Well, yeah, because you are literally creating that reality for yourself. And that's why that happens. We kind of don't even live by the conscious mind. We live 90% of our life by our subconscious mind. So subconsciously, we have a lot of shit going on. We have a lot of drama, a lot of events that have gone on that we will end up bringing back into our reality. And it, you don't realize it, but if you think of a bad thought or a thought that happened in the past, you can think that back into reality. But when we're not realizing it, we kind of, when we start going back into our subconscious mind, we kind of go on autopilot. Doesn't mean that you're, you know, dr you're driving or you're walking and then you just stop in mid, mid thought. Um, you, you kind of realize. Um, have you ever drove, like, drove before and you don't even realize how you got there because you were subconscious. You were living in your subconscious mind for that time period of whatever you were doing. So when we're putting ourselves into that subconscious state, we aren't living in the moment. So then we're constantly thinking of all these things that have happened to us in our life which are no longer a reality it's no longer here it's just a thought it's it's not it's not a reality anymore so one thing and i can't remember the name of this but um it's it's called something but we tend to bring our basically crappy past moments into reality. And what we need to do is not make that a reality anymore. So by not making it a reality, how would you do that? What's not real? Cartoon, cartoons aren't real. So put your situation that happened, whether it was a fight with, you know, a significant other or something that happened at work or whatever it might be that's just eating you alive try to make it that it's not real. Um, so if you put that situation, reverse it and put it, look at that situation the same way, but as a cartoon. Or make that situation where everyone has like a high voice, like they just all sucked helium. You know, you can make it anything you want, but if you, start making your situations into a non-reality situation, then it no longer serves you. It no longer relates to you. So try doing that the next time something like that comes up. Of course, being in a bad mood sucks. Like it happens to me all the time. And, and you know, the last couple of days I've been stuck into a funk and it's, it is hard to get out. You have to really, put yourself into a situation that you want to get out of it. If you're gonna keep dwelling on this emotion and this thing, then you're just gonna keep creating that emotion and thing in your life and you're not gonna get out of it. And this leads us all back to the subconscious mind. How can we change the subconscious mind? There's, there's a couple different ways, but I think two of the main ways um, that would be the easiest is one, hypnosis. Um, because when you get put under hypnosis, you then go into your subconscious mind and then you can then see it for what it is, explain it and move on from it. Or you can do habituation. Uh, I mean, how, how do you learn to do anything in your life? How did you learn the ABCs? How did you learn how to drive? Um, how did you learn how to do what you had to do at work? 
repetition. If you keep doing it over and over and over, then it's going to change for you. Then you kind of reprogram yourself into a new belief um, or a new situation. That's like me right now, like how I've been working towards happiness and self-care and self-love and gratitude. You have to work at that every single day. So every single day, every single day, I have been writing gratitude. I have write, I have wrote self-care to myself. I have wrote tasks for myself. I have wrote affirmations every single day for months and months and months. And it is working, but it is a process. And, and you know, if you want anything to change, you have to repeatedly do it over and over. If you really want it, then you're going to keep doing it over and over and over. We make ourselves victims in this life and we don't even realize it. If we can create and think our way into a situation, we can think our way out of it. And it's going to seem really hard at the time. It It's going to seem impossible. It's going to seem like it can't be done because it's it's you it's your life and and all you constantly do is put yourself down you constantly judge yourself and you constantly have fear but if you eliminate that fear and and just allow yourself to experience these new situations you're going to you're going to be amazed by what you can do and how much you can change you know, you can say how positive you are in a situation, but you still have subconsciously in the back of your head that this is going on, this is going on, and and this isn't just gonna work for me, and, and I'm never gonna get this, or you know, whatever it is, you can be positive here, but right here, if you are negative, and still subconsciously thinking those negative thoughts, then that's going to overpower that and then that's going to be your reality and that's what you're going to manifest towards you. You then have to come back to the whole law of attraction where put yourself in that situation that you want to be in. Act like you have it already. Act as if. If you act that way, you are going to receive what you want. And it's just so crazy on how much that's true and you know, keeping myself in a pretty high vibrational state uh, majority of the time and um, basically keeping myself in that happy, positive state, I manifest small things all the time and I don't even realize it and I don't even try to. It's like I'm not even practicing the law of attraction to manifest these things. It's just, it's already happening for happening for me because I believe that this is going to happen. I believe whatever I think is true. And then I receive it. And then I receive more than I actually expect or don't expect. I just, I get things without asking for them or thinking about it. You know, we don't even realize too that, and maybe I'll do a test one day or make a whole video about this, but um, so what are we mainly made up of? Water. So when we are putting certain waters into our body, we can be putting different moods into our body. And as crazy as that sounds, um, you know, even if you go to, well, one, there's tap water. Tap water has chemicals and everything in it, you know, so that the pipes don't rust and whatever. It's disgusting. Don't drink tap water. It's really bad for you. Um, but then there's also shelf water, you know, bottled water, what you get from the store. Water has basically can have effect on your emotions. So you can create vibrations in your water and drink it and then feel it. So if you're having, if you decide to go get a bottled shelf water, that that water could be sitting there for two years and you don't even know. Well, when water like that is just sitting around, 
it can basically be like dead water. So when you're drinking that dead water, you're putting that dead water into your body, therefore then you are dead. Not dead, dead, but you know what I mean? You, Your emotions end up feeding off of that. So what you can do is um, you can send vibrational energies to your water and then when you drink that water, you then come to that vibrational frequency and become that emotion or thought or, you know, and there's ways that you can manifest that way as well. Or, you know, you can put certain things into your water to help put that water into a good vibrational state and, you know, therefore you drink it, you manifest that into your life. We can stop our emotions. It's possible. And pretty much I say, if I can do it, then you can do it. I went through so many thoughts to the point where I thought I just, I, I was who I was, which was just negative and thought I was depressed all the time and, and just, just negative about everything. And I just had a ne negative look on life and, um, basically just thinking, I'm not good enough and that I was manifesting negative shit into my life all the time. And it's a lot of hard work. It is. But if you work at it every single day, you will get to the point that you want to be happy. When you're happy, you literally can heal your own body. You have so much joy and so much love for life and for anything. And then fear no longer becomes a an item in your life anymore it's 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 no longer it's basically like bring it on bring it on fear because i'm not scared of you and that's how you get when you 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 get into these calm blissful peaceful moments and you know sometimes it's hard for me and like like i said i'm going to get into a video where i'm talking about spiritual awakening which i was going to do tonight but i kind of wanted to touch base on this first um but you know when you're going through these spiritual awakenings and you understand this blissful feeling of just breathtaking life and understanding and and then you fall back down into this this subconscious negative mood that you know you're trying to bring up all this past stuff that has happened in your life and you're trying to deal with it, you become in this, this mindset where you just feel like, Ugh, it's just so frustrating because you want to get out of it because you understand life and you understand this peaceful moment and you're like, you just want to get back there. And, um, so I'll talk about that in another video, but I, I get it. And it's just, it is hard. We form our own reality and don't forget that whatever you think is, is going to happen and it's going to be your reality. You're going to manifest that into your life. As much as I would hate to say that that's true, but it's true. We just need to all be happy and I know that's easier said than done because trust me, I've, I'm, I'm going through it every single day, but when you're happy, everything just makes sense. Um, start rethinking your thoughts to I can do this this will happen for me this is happening for me not to me and say affirmations every single day I what I do every single morning I get up I immediately go to my journal and I will write a gratitude list where I will either list off, you know, five or more things. I try to do at least five things because there's plenty for us to be grateful for. Um, and I'll either just list them or I will write out a paragraph of why um, I'm thankful for them. Second, I will do affirmations. So I will make sure that I, and I probably put like 10 on there and if you, if it's hard at first, like look them up and you know, see what what you're drawn to the most. What what gives you like the most feeling out of it? Which 
you know, I will put, I am beautiful, I am strong, I am smart, I am courageous, I am wealthy, I am loved, I deserve to be loved, I am divine. Um, there's a ton that you can do, but just see what, what resonates with you the most. And, um, and then I write, uh, like a little self task or tip or just kind of writing to myself. <clears throat> so what I do is either I'll give myself a task and the task can range from a couple different things, but you know, it's, it's giving myself something to look forward that day. So if I know that I'm going, going to be into a certain situation that day, or if, you know, a certain mood pops up, like if this happens, make sure, you know, you, you become present, you breathe, live in your heart space and, you know, just certain things like that. Or if the day before I had a really bad day, I will write a letter to myself saying, you know, yesterday you had a bad day, but that's okay. We are only human. You are getting better. You are constantly working at, you know, making yourself happy. So things like that really help you and it really boosts up your confidence in yourself because self-love is so important um, nowadays, especially because of how social media is and I can't stress that enough. I try to be off social media as much as I, I as much as I can um, because when I realize when I'm on it more I end up becoming more I don't want to say hateful to myself but I end up judging myself more I end up becoming more into almost like a, a jealousy mode which is unnecessary like yes the world is beautiful people are beautiful and there's nothing wrong with that they're not a threat to you um, but you know, you are basically a threat to yourself and you have to understand that, that you are constantly always putting yourself down and always doubting yourself and, and creating so much fear for yourself because you don't think you're good enough or that you can achieve something and, and you can, you absolutely can. We are remarkable human beings and we have so much potential. We can literally create our own reality and what we want. We can have anything we want so having that you know that time to yourself where you're writing to yourself really makes a difference and um, one thing that I want to start trying next is doing like mirror affirmations where I'm actually speaking to myself about these affirmations which then will kind of bring it out more into a reality that I am those things and um, I am, but you know, when you're writing it down or if you're just thinking about it, you don't really think about it being, you know, a realistic situation at all times. So I know this is a pretty long video, but I hope I touch base on things that you can help yourself in your life um, which I am helping in my life as well like this is a learning process I am going through this together with you um, we are all human and we all have emotions we all have you know negative thoughts and that's fine but there's ways that we can go around at changing them that we don't have to deal with them anymore or deal with them that as much or as strongly you know, and that's another reason why I do these videos. It's just, they really do help me and bring me out of my, you know, if I'm in a funk or even if I'm just in an okay mood, like they put me in a better mood because it just, it helps me. And then I know that I'm helping someone, at least someone. And it, it doesn't mean, you know, I have to have a million followers just to reach one person, just to have them have a more understanding about themselves. In the long run, we will all be better people and we will be better people for, you know, our community or for ourselves. more importantly. So try to take these tips and just try them for yourself and see how they work for you. And, you know, let me know how they, they work for you. Or if you have any tips, let me know because I'm always trying to better myself and I'm always trying to find different situations to just help myself and make myself happy because when I'm happy, 
everything just seems right and everything goes right and that's the best feeling in the world so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um don't forget to subscribe if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comments below um, I'll link my social media down below so that if you want to get a hold of me, there's another way to do that. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.